please welcome Matt Lanter. A nice lively audience today. You know this, you've been here before. Welcome <laughs> I know, back. I had a blast last time. Yeah, so, and the last time that you were here, you were playing a teenager on 90210. Yeah. But the thing is, is that Matt is not, do you say your age or do you? Yeah. How old are you? 33. See, 33. <laughs> Yeah, yay for 33. Everyone in here is 33. Yeah. No, but you know what? You give good teen. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. yeah, but now you have your first adult role. Yeah, yeah, this is sort of my first, well, my first TV thing where I'm more or less adult in adult situations. It's not about cheating on each other. And, right. You know. Oh my God. You don't have to, you don't have to deal with vocal which, fry which anymore. Which wasn't really my character, but yeah. <laughs> right, right. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, but you do voiceovers, which yeah. to me is a dream job. It's sweet, because yeah. from what I understand, when you do voice work, you barely have to leave the house. You don't have to wear pants if you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's great. I mean, there's, there's pros and cons to doing on-camera stuff and voiceover. Voiceover being you, you, don't, you don't have to brush your teeth if you don't want to. Right. You know, people wouldn't <laughs> like you, but. <laughs> uh, but it's fun. I mean, it's just like it's being a kid in a sandbox, you know? And it, tell them what it's for. Star, Star Wars, right? Yeah, so Star Wars The Clone Wars, we did that for like seven years. I've been doing, yeah. Uh, it's nice work. Yeah, it's great. We've done uh, a, bunch, a bunch of stuff. Done uh, Justice League, a bunch of Disney stuff. It's, it's fun. So you're in the voiceover world. Yeah. Do you like voicing better than being visually seen? It's different because with voiceover, it's just, it's creative, it's freeing, you know, like, I feel like we all did it as kids, you know, playing with action figures or yeah. Barbies or whatever, you know, we gave voices and personalities to things. And so it's just doing that and getting paid for it. But social media is so bad and horrible. It's, it would seem like voice work would be something that would like keep you out of that fray. You, you know, you make your money, you go home yeah. to your life. You know life. what, it feels, it, it, I love people that I work with on, on both sides of the industry, but voiceover people are really great. Yeah. I think, cause it's, that thing is, is not there with, you know, fame and ego. Yes. It's, you know, yeah. not part of it, so. So everybody, Matt is married. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> So who, oh, yeah, is that, who is that lucky lady? Tell us about her. That's my wife. Uh, <laughs> her name is Angela. She's fantastic. Um, got married about three years ago. <laughs> three years. Yeah. That's nice. Do you yeah. have children? No children. We have a dog, so sort of. That's nice. <laughs> Where are you from, by the way? Where are you? Uh, born in Ohio, raised in Georgia. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Is she from one of those two places? She is from Ohio, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, we met back there, yeah. Yeah, my like, mom lives in Ohio, so shout out to moms. What's up? Wait, so, so you you met her like while you were still living there, maybe in high school or junior high? No, no, no. I was I was living in LA. Um, I was actually uh, visiting my mom or something, and, and we had a friend that introduced us and, and had a party. Like whenever you go home, just, to, yeah, it was or, a, it was a hangout. Yeah, you know, a set. And, yeah, yeah. So yeah. she's uh, she's from there, and uh, actually met through church. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. I love this dude over here. He, so, he, this guy over here, he's going, oh, so nice. <laughs> Thank you. So now your, your show is shot, though, in New Orleans, correct? Uh, yeah, so we did a show called, uh, I did a show called Starcross. It oh. was on the CW. Okay. It was after 90210, and we had just been married. And, uh, you know, we wanted to be together. Yes. So, you know, we didn't want to, we didn't want to do the apart thing right when we got married. So she was a fraud investigator at Allstate. She had a big girl job. And, um, oh. and uh, she oh. just quit. She quit to come down and, and live with me, and now she's doing like beauty blogging, and, and uh, she got a YouTube and all that stuff. Well, okay, that, that brings me to my next line of questioning. Okay. So I was trolling your area <laughs> and ran across uh, this. Take a look. Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Today, I have a, I'm so excited. I have a good makeup tutorial today. Okay, Matt. So weird. <laughs> oh my God, honestly. Take us through what we're looking at. Well, we're, we're so weird. We're you look so like weird. twins. So well, this, is a, this is a face swap thing on, uh, on Snapchat. 
and it's, you know, it's just it's an app that you, you both get in it and it swaps your face and oh my God, look at, look at us. <laughs> that is so scary. And, but it's cute. Is it? You know what? Yes, because you know what? You've only been married for three years. Yeah. You, I always like when people take time to be married and have fun as a couple and then have kids. It just seems like... It, I think that's important too. I mean, I feel like that's something that you need to enjoy each other first. Yeah. Because, you know, listen, obviously, and I don't have kids or anything, so maybe it's hard for me to really have a, have a, a say on this, but I feel like obviously kids are loves of your life, but, you know... Getting you're, to you're, know each other. Yeah, you're the you, glue of the family. Yeah, you're committed to each other first, right? Yeah. So, <laughs> your new show is a big hit. It's called Timeless, yeah. um, and it's about time travel. Explain to, uh, you have to sell it, to, like sell it to me. Pigeon? Well, uh, <laughs> uh, no, in a nutshell, it's, it's, we've got a band of, of three people, a soldier, a historian, and a, uh, and a pilot who pilots this time machine. Uh, we are chasing a criminal through time and history who has stolen a time machine. We've got this billionaire mogul, think of like a Richard Branson type. He's created a time machine and whoops, it's gotten stolen. So now he has to say, hey, government, help me out, um, or else this guy's gonna change history as we know it. So that's what we're doing and we're chasing this guy and we go on a weekly adventure. Like this, the, the, the most recent episode was about Lincoln? Last night, yeah, we aired, we aired an episode about Abraham Lincoln, the assassination of Abraham Lincoln. And so this guy, he goes to this time period. We don't know why. We don't know what his motives are yet. We assume it's to destroy America or the world. And so we got to uh, go and, and, and save history as we know it. Um, so. The show is getting rave reviews, everybody. It's called Timeless and it airs Monday nights at 10 o'clock on NBC. Right. 